On day 100 of protests against the operations of Sterlite factory, clashes broke out between protesters and police. Protesters were lati charged and tear gas shells were used on them. Clashes broke out at Tutukuri against the operations of Sterlite factory. Those are the latest pictures coming to you on your screens of the protest. Let, let me go across to Pramod for more information on this. Yes, Pramod. Well, it was a definite chaos in the state, district of Tutukudi and as you might know, this is not the first time a huge protest is occurring over there. Two months ago, these same protesters who are fighting against the Sterlite factory claiming that their smelter is releasing poisonous gas and uh, uh, effluents that is damaging the soil and the air. They have fought against uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, plant and they wanted it to be shut down. However, this for this year, this uh, uh, Pollution Control Board did not give uh, permission for Sterlite to continue, their, I mean, uh, provide license to continue their smelting plant of which uh, the plant has been temporarily shut down. Sterlite maintains that the plant has been shut down for uh, yearly maintenance. This is where the people got angry and this day, this is the 100th day of protest against Sterlite and there, as they were marching towards the collector's office, they wanted to provide a, a memorandum to the collector claiming that Sterlite should be immediately shut down. Police tried to block them and that is when uh, chaos broke out and you could see in the visuals how the, the, the uh, public, the protesters uh, clashed with the police. It's very unfortunate that there was like stone pelting. Police had to resort to lati charge and and uh, uh, tear gas shelling as well, but nothing stopped the crowd. They are slowly progressing towards the collector's office and the police are trying to uh, place barricades across the, around the uh, collector's office to control the crowd. Right, we can clearly see, Pramod, that the situation has gone out of hand. It's a massive groundswell of people now and protesters turning against the police is now something that is making the matter rather serious. What measures have been taken on the ground, promote, and what is the ground situation as of now? Well, in Tutukudi, all, all the time, the situation is volatile, especially around the Sipkot plant because there have been various allegations that Sterlite, without the permission, tried to increase its land capacity and uh, open another smelter factory without gaining, getting the permission from the government. That is where the public started, like, uh, there was a huge outrage because various activists claimed that even after knowing that Sterlite was causing a lot of uh, uh, trouble to the people in that area, this is the claim of the activists over there, and that's why so much crowd uh, gathered at the place. The crowd must be at least 10 thousand strong and they were protesting against a light when the crowd was blocked by the cops claiming that you cannot meet with the collector that is when the clash broke out had, had the police uh, tried to take some representatives and uh, uh, made them meet with the collector to provide this resolution copy or something this would have not occurred but as they, they were not denied permission the crowd became outraged and they started and like uh, involving such kind of uh, uh, un unacceptable and like unlawful activities now the cops have created a zone around the uh, zip court 144 has been issued and they're trying to to control the crowd as we speak okay so attempts are on to control the crowds remember the crowds are now uh, trying to approach the collector's office we'll keep a close watch on that uh, with you promote thanks for now